Yo, what's poppin'? You done tap back in with the gangsters kitchen in the hood. Where the food is vegan and you will not get tired of eating. I promise. I mean, hey, you cooking with a blood. What's poppin'? So check this right today. I'm about to show you how I made the best ever falafel that I have ever made. I swear a hey, on blood. So look, the first step is you have to use dry chickpeas. You want to get some lukewarm water and soak them chickpeas for at least eight hours, right? Again, they have to be dried. Now I'm throwing them in a blender and now I'm finna bust down this little parsley, right? I ain't gonna chop it down too too small, too ripe because, you know, that, that blender gonna get it right and tight. So I ain't even finna do too much. I'm just finna let everything fit, right? So next I have some cilantro. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the parsley. Just bust it down a little bit, not too much, you know, because the, the, the blender gonna, gonna make sure it get right and tight. So I ain't even tripping about that. So next I have, uh, you know, a, a whole onion. Right, you want to bust the onion down, of course. That's what's gonna give it that extra little, yeah. You know, you got to use onion, not the onion powder. Now, I don't know if you peep, I got, I still got the butt on it. You feel me? Because you ain't finna catch me crying today on blood. You feel me? Yeah. So, boom. After the onion, um, I have about like five cloves of garlic. Again, I'm not gonna bust it down too small because the blender's what's gonna get it right and tight, right? So, boom. Now, all the, the mass ingredients is in there. I'm just blending this up, baby. Please calm down. We ain't done, I promise. I'm just blending this up just so I can have a have a little more space to a little extra things that I want to add into it, right? So we want to blend this up, right? Not too much. I have it on pulse. You can do whatever you want. I'm just pulsing it just so it won't be too mushy. So this is what we want right here. We don't want the blend, the, the falafel blend to be too mushy, nor do we want it to be too... Uh, too sandy, right? So on to my favorite part. I'm adding some cumin, of course, some cayenne pepper to extra to give it that little extra look. Yeah, I got some onion powder, of course. I got some black pepper. Got to throw the black pepper in there and be generous with it. I got some cardamom and I also have some coriander. You want to be very generous with the coriander. And I also have some pink salt. Now I'm going to blend that up, let them seasonings get on in them cracks and crevices. And I'm also just twirling this. I also did a little um, a little spoon twirl as well so everything can get up in that thing too. Yeah. So, boom. The last two ingredients we added in this is uh, chickpea flour because, of course, you know, we want to we want to fry it. You know what I mean? We want to get it that nice little crisp on the outside. And the baking soda is what's going to keep it fluffy um, on the inside, right, when it's cooking. So, yeah, we want to mix this around, get this right and tight, you know. Yeah, get all that flour up in there. And you want to throw this entire falafel blend in the refrigerator, let it cool down for at least 35, 45 minutes. So now everything out, everything right, tight, cold, and bold, right? Now, there's two ways you could do your falafels. You could either do a little nice little ball, you know what I mean, like what, I, what I'm showing you right here. Or you can do a patty. Me, I did the patty. You feel me? I ain't want to do the ball. So, boom, this is what it looked like. And, man, when I say this shit was bossing on my mama, blood. So, boom, the oil that I'm using to fry everything is avocado oil. And I do want y'all to understand and overstand this. To make these falafels, you have to make sure that the oil is at least 350 degrees. I'm telling you. Please. I'm telling you. It's going. Yeah. You know, so boom, this is what it looked like. You know what I mean? Yeah, this mouth make it look good. Now, what I did was, you know, I like my stuff a little extra crispy. So it may look a little burnt, but it ain't really burnt. You feel me? It's just extra crispy. You know, yeah. So boom, this is what it looked like. This is what it, you know, what it turned out to. And of course, for those who watched my last video, this is my um my hummus. You know, I made the best hummus, bussing. You feel me? Now I'm finna, and of course, you know, I got my vegan pita. I'm finna show you how I plated this guy. Oh, wait, hold up. Let me get that little spear right there. You know, when you plating, you know, the plate gotta be neat. It gotta be clean. It gotta be, yeah, so I got this little sauce up real, you know. <laughs> All right, so boom, on to the plating. You feel me? Now that red sauce that I have on top of the falafels and also my vegan pita is, uh, it's a tomato basil base, um, uh, base sauce. It was amazing. Um, I, I do the, 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 the ingredients. So, you know, yeah, this is what I look like. I also, um, you know, bust down. I had threw a little extra little chili, chili powder, uh, not chili powder, but, um, some chili on top of it as well. And so, yeah, 
Look, I appreciate y'all and tap back in with me, man. I just showed you how I made the best taste tasting falafel. I hope y'all enjoy. I appreciate y'all for tapping back in with me. You know, the biggest blood, the biggest gangster in the, the bank, the biggest gangster kitchen in the city.